Let's start recording. Welcome to live trading session. Thursday, May 28th, last live trading session of the week. As always, saved by FX here, Nick Dark FX. About to go through all the pairs that we're looking at. Um, this will be recorded, posted on YouTube afterwards for your viewing pleasure. So Nick's going to get started with DXY and why we look at DXY. Yep. So guys, we always start these live trading sessions taking a look at DXY. Again, because we want to get a better understanding of what the U.S. dollar is doing. And the U.S. dollar is important because it makes up for 80% of all trade. And it's also considered the reserve currency of the world. You know, we start off every session like that. Uh, you know, it's just best to understand what's going on, how the U.S. dollar is trending. Uh, again, if there's any news, in, like any news that's going to impact it uh, this you know, today or, you know, as Angela said, in 20 minutes. So it's always good to kind of be aware of you know, where the U.S. dollar is. So like, let's just get a quick sentiment on this. If we expand this chart around the daily time frame here, we could see that it is primarily bullish. It's a very large bullish channel, you know, and then this is current price action over here. So we're gonna go ahead and drop down time frames with this sentiment in mind, right? Now we're, here, now we're here on the four hour and, you know, there's no real clear, clear direction. This is more so just ranging and we're getting these micro channels, you know, within this range between 101 and 98.5. So anything to the left here is complete garbage because this is all, you know, this is this is news related. This is not normal market structure by any means. So this is just, you know, completely like pretty much irrelevant. So this is the important price action, the current part that's ranging between 101 and 98.5. So, I mean, this is good to see. You do want to see a stable dollar uh, again, because it is a reserve currency. That's why it is a reserve currency because it's, you know, notorious for its stability. When you see these giant swings, that kind of goes against, you know, what the US dollar is supposed to do, or what it's supposed to stand for. So this is pretty good to see this ranging, you know, and then we get like these nice channels. So you get a nice little, you know, one hour bullish channel, a nice little one hour bearish channel, bullish, bullish, bearish, and so on. So, you know, currently we saw a price action kind of fall out in the upper half of this uh, range, you know, right after, right over 101, I mean, uh, 100.25, fell out of this rising wedge and came back down. Uh, past the you know halfway point, which is where a weekly is 99.75, and now we're in the bottom half of this range again below 99.15. So it's definitely bearish right now. We are getting some consolidation, but uh, you know we can anticipate some sort of price reaction in this area as we've seen before. So like I've been doing this pretty much every live session. I'll just mark out. It's easy to follow. We're getting a bounce here. Getting a bounce here. Getting a bounce over here. So it's safe to say that we should expect some sort of bounce, right? So there's a couple of ways it could play out. You know, we could consolidate a little more then it could break the previous lower high, um, lower time frame even, and then continue higher, breaking other, you know, major resistance levels like 99.15 and then 99.75 and so on. But, you know, for us to consider this as a major bearish move, you know, we need to break this 98.5 area down here and in fact, not see a bounce. So it would need to see some, we need something like this. Significant break below, followed by a retest, another confirmed lower high, uh, and then you know strong bearish setups rejecting off of this, you know would be new new resistance level because it is you know support right now. Once it breaks, it turns resistance, then that's what we would need to see for this to continue bearish. Break, retest, lower high confirmation, and target lower. But for right now, I'm definitely more, you know, expecting some sort of bounce at the current area. All right, so that's DXY. Let's move on to some currency pairs. First, we got AUD USD, looking pretty interesting so far. So we are at a pretty key level, and I'll explain what I mean by that. So let's just go ahead and find the sentiment first. Daily time frame, super bearish, strong bearish channel. Then we had this news-related dump. Again, you know, news-related, so you gotta kind of take it with a grain of salt. Uh, it did come back pretty sharply. So this is a strong four-hour bullish trend. You know, full retracement, we're pretty much at the 100% right now. Actually, I forgot to show you. So right, this would be the FIB from low, uh, from high to low. Uh, we're pretty much at a 100% retracement. Let me just show you. Pretty much there. You guys can see that. 100% exactly. So from the current level, either this four hour bullish trend is gonna continue. There is a lot of confluence here as well, this 200 EMA. And again, this 100% retracement. So let's drop to the four hour, kind of see what price action is doing. Uh, again, very strong bullish trend. We are breaking key resistance levels. This yellow zone was a you know, a four hour zone. This blue blue zone was a daily zone. It broke right through it, right where this weekly is. And then it 
broke through resistance, found it, found support there as well on the retest, and then continued higher. So now this is the 100% area on that daily fib we just drew up here, this blue line. Currently, we have a couple options. Again, if this four-hour trend continues, you know, we would then look for you know certain fib levels, you know, wait for structure formation, right, wick to wick, wait for structure formation, potentially down to the 61.8, we could see a pullback. Uh, right where this blue level is, this blue structure level. So let's go ahead and mark this. So we could see something like this, and then a continuation higher. I'll draw this back in a second, get rid of that. So this would be, you know, in line with our four hour trend. So quick pullback, structure formation at the 61.8, followed by, you know, strong bullish setups, which would push this, you know, this uh, four hour trend a little bit higher. Uh, outside of this 100%, on the daily, and then we would consider, and this would be potentially a daily transition if it does break this 100%, because now we're establishing higher highs here, and now we could be looking to make a play up towards, you know, significant, you know, higher time frame resistance levels, potentially this monthly. Uh, if this does happen again, we're always gonna like come back and reanalyze, and then kind of like weigh out our options, uh, potential scenarios, and so on. So let's go back to the four hour, talk about, you know, a reversal from this 100%. So. If we do see a bearish transition here, if we do see the higher time frames come into play uh, and we see this huge bearish move, you know, we wanna see something like this. We wanna see a clear break of you know minor support levels as well as significant support levels. So this level being the first, it's a blue list structure level right at the 61.8, we wanna see that get broken. Same with this uh, yellow zone down here, right? Which is a four hour zone. And then we wanna see some consolidation, you know, potentially head and shoulders, which we're seeing right now, like if this were to come down, form a right shoulder, and then continue lower, this could be definitely a potential scenario, right? A very strong one at that, because again, it'd be a head and shoulders at this 100% level, signifying that this is a key reversal on this four hour. And uh, you know, this would definitely drop, definitely, definitely drop. Rule of thumb, target height of the pattern, right? So about 150 pips right after the break of the neckline, uh, would find Sorry. ourselves What's up? We definitely Still? find ourselves in a bearish move then. Still. Angela. Oh, he just. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Why you go out to talk to me? We lost him. Hold on one second, guys. Is Ed Sheeran playing? Okay. So, and this would be, can you guys just, Angela, can you mute him? Thanks. All right, so we could see a potential head and shoulders here. That would be one potential scenario. Uh, right now, we are going to stick with the four hour bullish trend, right? But for now, this would be, I'm going to make this orange because this could be the secondary, you know, trade pass. Yeah, get You're muted. Oh, he is moving. Okay, so this could be a potential, right? So preferred path is a blue, right? Sticking with the trend, you know, just looking for confirmations, structure formation, and then continuation, uh, continuation higher. And then this orange could be the reversal path. Okay, so that is a U. Again, guys, all these analyses we post, you know, as they're, you know, um, you know, developing, we'll post them in our Discord. Uh, keep you guys kind of updated along the way. So definitely utilize that. Always be like comparing our analysis to yours. Always use those free resources to your advantage. All right, so let's take a look at AJ. Again, very, very similar to AU. Let's take a look at the daily time frame to get a better understanding of the sentiment. Super, super bearish. We've actually been noticing these large bearish legs, and then we'll get these bullish channels, and then large bearish legs, bullish channels, large bearish legs, and so on and so on. So right now we are definitely more bearish than anything else on this daily time frame. So let's drop to a four hour and see what we can identify. Right, so this pullback here is a, this is the retracement of a daily move. Now this is a four hour bullish channel, super, super strong. Again, kind of at like the 100% level. Actually, hold on one second, let me go to the daily and take a look. Okay, so the 100% level would be up here, still a ways away. If we were just to throw a fib on it, right, the 100% is pretty much outside of this channel entirely. Uh, so it looks like we're right at the 78.6, which is this 200 EMA lining up as well. Let's go ahead and drop time frames again. So something interesting that we saw was that this weekly zone was completely obliterated. 
Uh, price action just blew through it, right? We found resistance here at the 70 handle a couple times, once, twice, three times in here. Uh, good rejection, but you know we keep seeing these higher lows form. This bullish channel is holding its own. Uh, it's just pushing price action higher and higher. And then we finally saw a large, large amount of bullish volume come into the market. Some consolidation in the form of a rising wedge, and then it fell out for a quick retracement. So let's get a quick fib on this, right? Low to high. Then it came back and hit the 38.2, which is a strong level. And then you can see price action just continued higher. All right, so this was a big confluence area after it had broken as resistance, turned support, right? There's a, I've labeled it here, four hour 38.2, as well as this weekly zone. Uh, so definitely a key key area. And we saw that, you know, break, retest, continuation. So this was a good potential, you know, entry here if we're just riding this four hour trend. Uh, but now, we're the, let's find out where we are. Current price action. All right, we're going to fib it again, low to high on this four hour. And we currently have a couple situations we could, you know, kind of forecast here. So again, this 70.6 handle is pretty important. This is just a lower time from structure level, you know, right at the 61.8. Uh, and then we also saw price action come down and wick the 50%. So it didn't cross through the MAs. It's not the best structure point, but we are, you know, finding a little bit of support around the 38.2. But, you know, we didn't see the bounce off this level that we want to see. So I definitely think that this could come back a little bit more. So ideally, we would like to see something like this. Let me go ahead and make this blue because this is the preferred trade path. So just sticking with the four hour trend, you know, we're gonna just try and trend trade this one. We wanna see something like this. You know, pull back to 61.8, protect ourselves outside the high low, and then target higher towards the negative 27 fib level, about 150 pips higher. This is a four, four to seven risk reward. So you can even, you know, bring your stop loss. There's room to bring it lower. You can protect yourself all the way down here, make it a 2-0, uh, you know, reduce that lot size, you know, reduce that risk. You know, 70 pips to get about 140 plus. So this is one scenario. We just want to see that this is more of a significant, you know, level of structure that forms. You know, the 61.8 seems to be that golden area right now. The 38.2 is, it was good, but it, it's not really forming, you know, a, uh, the right amount of confirmation that we want to see. You know, I wanted I wanted to see a little more consolidation, a sharper move coming off this area, maybe a full engulfing, but there's a lot of bearish volume and a lot of exhaustion coming off this zero percent area. So you know I'm definitely gonna wait for a more confirmed for more confirmed uh, you know entry. You know, especially being that it's Thursday. You know, I just want to see a drop, you know, find a bounce and then continue higher. Uh, but for right now this is definitely more bullish than anything else. Again, we're just staying with this four hour trend. Uh, again, this was a daily 786. But let's go ahead and paint the picture as if the bulls were to take, the bears were to take over. I mean, so we want to see a significant break of this 76 handle. That's the lower time frame, lower time frame support, right? Find some sort of, you know, pullback, get in on a fib level, confirm lower high, and then pull back, back below this weekly level. If we get back below this weekly, the bears are definitely in play, you know, because this is going to take a good amount of momentum to get price action back below this level. So if this were to happen, you know, we, again, this is looking like a head and shoulders potentially if we do get a lower high in this area after a break and retest of 70.6. So you know, we would be looking to potentially short a good amount and play into that overall, you know, daily bearish trend. So let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit, All right? So if we do get that strong bearish momentum and it breaks back below this weekly, you know, there's a lot of room for this to fall, a lot of room. And then we would just target major significant you know major support levels on the way down 68.75 67.5 potentially even lower you know 64.75 you know back onto this daily so let me just show you guys why you know we could get potential you know bearish movement here on the daily because again every time you know we get a huge bearish leg we'll get a huge bearish leg and then a bullish channel and then price action will fall out after we get multiple lower highs so lower high you know lower high and then drop off after some consolidation as well. So right now we're still in that bullish channel, but if we do start getting some lower highs in this area, like we just marked up, let me zoom in a little more, you know, this could be the first sign of a major transition. And that's why we wanna see it get below this weekly. So if we see this transition happen, you know, this could definitely be a very, very large move that we could say see play out down to, uh, you know, new lows even. So let me go ahead and, so right now the blue is the preferred trade path based on the four hour. And the orange is like kind of a secondary scenario. 
you know, we just need, we're just further away from, you know, a trade, executing on a trade because we need to see so many confirmations still. So, you know, but again, it is very possible based on price, uh, previous price action, we could see a pretty big drop. I mean, this range here, just from this blue zone to blue zone, it's like 500 pips. So you know, definitely a huge potential move uh, to be made. We'll just be waiting for those confirmations. Zone to zone, baby. Right. That's how we do it. And right now, price action is kind of stalling at this 200 EMA. So this is a good sign. You know, we'll just, we'll see. We will see. We'll be monitoring the hell out of this one. That will probably be an early to midweek uh, move next week. You know, but it also depends on how this week closes. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, that's AJ. Uh, let's move on to EU. I saw somebody calling it out. So we're getting a little uh, eager. What is it? Eager McBeaver in the chat. This guy's saying eager McBeaver. Holy shit. <laughs> He's yeah, I'm telling you, man. Somebody, you know, was calling out EU. So an eager McBeaver. Right. Let's go ahead and zoom out and anyway. get a sentiment like we always do. We're on a daily time frame, super bearish. But this is a big volume channel. What I mean by that is that it has these huge swings. So this is like a five hundred, you know, pip swing on this bearish leg right here. Like huge, huge swings. So large volume bearish channel. Disregard this crap. This is absolutely nonsense. Just news related. You know, definitely focus on price action within this channel. So let's just off the bat on the daily, what can we identify? Which is the most you know significant level right here? 1.1, 1 .1, you know, held as support many, many times in the past, uh, then held as resistance here as well. So let's go ahead and drop time frames, see what price action is doing. All right, so this is looking interesting, very, very interesting. So on this four hour, this was a huge range on Euro USD. Every time I came up to 1.1 area, we saw massive rejection. Once, twice, three times, absolutely massive rejection. Every time we came down to 1.0775, saw massive rejection. Bounce, 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 right? Huge range, pretty pretty good range. Uh, we caught a trade up in here in this area after we saw a double top on a lower time frame, And we're able to short based on a transition right in this pocket after this engulfing. Uh, so right now... Uh, it's definitely holding this four hour trend. So right now we're in this, this is considered a four hour bullish trend right here, right? From this low to this high, to this higher low, to this higher high. So this is looking interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and dissect this just for the sake of technical analysis. We'll go to low to high, get a fib on this here. And this was, you know, 61.8 rejection of, a, of the wick to the low, uh, 200 EMA kind of holding price action here. And then we're getting some micro higher lows on these lower time frames. Final break of this uh, lower high, which would be the you know lower time first indication of a lower time lower time frame transition, which then led to this large surge of price action, you know from the bulls. So, you know you could capitalize on that, especially with this you know zone here 1.09 on the supporting trend line. This was a good pocket to then you know go long on. We were short here again. I was expecting a break, uh, but this consolidation turned into an inverse head and shoulders. I'm actually going to show you on a one hour, just because little inverse head and shoulders. You know, we were originally expecting a break lower and we were expecting this range to fill. It was supposed to look like this, right? Break lower, retest, continuation to the downside as we've seen so many times. Unfortunately, it didn't play out. Inverse head and shoulders happened right here. This black line is the neckline. It broke. That was our first indication to get out. We closed, you know, we moved our stop loss to break even. This was a risk-free trade. Uh, so you were presented with a decision right in this area as this neckline broke either to sustain and hold with your, you know, stop loss at break even or close as this was, you know, a, a reversal signal right here. So uh, you were able to close again, present them with that option, close or leave your stop loss. So let's go ahead and jump back up time frames for a second, kind of figure out where we are now. All right. So now we have a new fib, right? We have established a new, new higher low again, still very much in this bullish trend. Now we're fibbing from low to the high. Uh, right now, price action sitting at the 38.2, which is a confluence area as well. It's sitting at the top of this range. Uh, you know, this, this is the main level acting as support now. Was resistance for so long. Now it's a very strong support level. So what we're looking to do here is just play this to the upside. Right? And we're going to stick with this four-hour trend. You know, unless it breaks back below into this range, we're bullish. You know, and that's, that's fine. You know, that is absolutely fine because there are still a good amount of pips here. This is going to be a good potential entry with good risk reward. Here we are on the one hour. Right, here's that 38.2 massive rejection happening right at 1.1, um, but we are getting a lot of exhaustion as well. So what's interesting here is that you know these are all 
lower time frame, lower highs, even like 30 minutes, 15 minutes. So wick to the high, still lower high, wick to the high. You know, just a lot of consolidation. Not the market's not really sure where it's going right now, but nonetheless, we're gonna give a trade path idea. I want to see something like this. Maybe we will get a double bottom at 1.1, but we want to see some conviction. So ideally, a nice bullish engulfing, something like this with less of a wick, uh, would be you know enough confirmation to then put a position on. Something like this. Let me get make this blue. This is the preferred trade path here. Jump to the four hour real quick. Make sure this is all lined up. Right, right to the weekly. Okay. You'd even potentially go higher. Normally we target negative 27 at the minimum, but because there's so much confluence here, we're just gonna target the weekly. So this is what we're looking to do right now. Uh, definitely just get a bounce and then look for those confirmations, right? If it does break below this weekly again, you know, we could be uh, seeing a transition to the downside. Uh, and again, if it breaks below, this could you know just be considered a fake out, whatever, that's fine. Uh, but if we do get a transition confirmed lower high on a four hour, you know, we could just you know, play this range move again and be targeting back down towards, you know, significant support, 1.09, 1.0775 at the lowest. So this would be the orange path, right? Looking for that lower high, break below. Secondary scenario, further away from an, uh, from execution, but still possible if we see the confirmations needed. So this is where we're at right now. All right, so that's EU. Got a couple more for you, being EJ and gold. All right, so EJ is looking pretty interesting too, much like EU. First thing we do, higher time frame, get the sentiment. Super, super bearish. Again, a very large, uh, high volume bearish channel. We'll get these large pushes uh, between zone to zone. Again, like this one's a 600, 700 pip range. Absolutely nuts. All right, so let's see where we're at now. Right, we were looking like it was going to break this monthly and continue lower. Very, very steep bearish uh, channel right here, but it didn't have much weight. It kind of faked this out, right? Price action just kind of screwed around in this area. It, uh, you know, just disrespected the monthly pretty much a bunch of times. It found a little bit of resistance here, but it didn't have much weight as we were seeing, you know, higher lows form instead of, you know, lower lows and lower highs. So this was the transition. It broke back through the monthly, large bullish volume. In fact, found a, you know, higher low formed a higher low, good structure, uh, found some support at this 200 EMA in previous resistance turned support. This rejection right here, this four hour 61.8 fib zone, you know, I've labeled it, this is where we saw that rejection pretty much to the pip of the top of the zone. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. So this is safe to say that this is a strong four hour bullish trend, right? We're hitting those golden levels. You know, we're seeing good structure formation. You know, we saw this rise here. Uh, we saw this rise in price action Consolidation in the form of a rising wedge, it fell out. This was the retracement, hit the 61.8, continued higher, strong bullish volume, moving average crossovers on a bullish variation. Uh, then we're getting some micro levels as well. So I'm actually gonna drop down to a one hour just to give you guys a better idea because I've marked this up for a one hour trade. Right, so this was that, again, this is that 61.8 on the four hour. Here's price action kind of hiking higher, right, exceeding 0%, so then we threw a new FIB on it from this low to this high, uh, to this high right here. And then we saw a, again, a one hour 61.8 fib retracement. This was a potential entry here on the morning star, right? You see this, continuation higher. So right now we're consolidating again. It's actually looking like it's getting ready to make another hike higher. It's, it's grinding some rejection right at this 38.2 form of you know support, a lot of exhaustion as you can see. And now we're getting a little bit of bullish volume. Uh, still about 26 minutes to close here. But again, if this is an engulfing, you know, if it closes pretty much where it's at with no wick, this is a potential entry opportunity. You know, then it would be something like this. You know, this would be a pretty tight stop loss, good risk, good risk management, call it 35, right? And then we're gonna target higher towards, you know, negative 60, negative 61.8. So this would be a pretty good trade, two to one risk reward. You know, but it is kind of consolidating uh, right now. It doesn't have the most volume, so we'll see. So let's go ahead, jump to the four hour. You know, if this four hour continues, you know, there's no reason why we can't see this continue all the way up to the top of this trend line. Right, so this could be the preferred trade path right where price action is right now. This would be our most likely highest probability trade path, this blue line here. But however, there always is, you know, a potential scenario of a bearish move. So 
you always got to be aware of both options in the market. Like you can't just have one bias. You have to, you know, think about it as a trader, you know, we adapt to the market. There's always, you know, the idea of, you know, either a bearish move or a bullish move. So if we do get this bearish move, we want to see significant uh, volume push price action lower, get a lower high confirmation, and then a drop off in price action back down towards our monthly uh, outside of the supporting trend line. Uh, and then again, ideally for this, we would want to see a break of this monthly. So then we could really start playing into that higher time frame sentiment and start targeting, you know, more significant support levels, like potentially all the way down to this weekly and, uh, you know, some lower support levels in here, lower time frame support levels throughout this range. So right now, definitely looking more bullish than anything else. But again, we always, you know, we're always ready for anything. Wait for those confirmations and we can capitalize on it. So this is looking good so far. All right. Finally, for you guys, I got gold. All right, this one's looking really nice. It's setting up pretty right now. Okay, let's go to the higher time frame. Daily time frame, super bullish off the bat. We know that, right? Most significant level relative to current price action, this monthly right here. Huge resistance at first. It rejected multiple times, once, twice, three times. Finally broke, turned into support, then found, you know, was rejecting as support many, many times, holding super, super well. Uh, as well as, you know, this little bit of a confluence area, the 38.2 is here. These MAs came into play, uh, definitely pointing up. So super, super bullish. Nothing on gold right now suggests bearish movement other than this, you know, lower time frame bearish channel. But still, we didn't break anything. You know, this is still a higher low in comparison to over here, right? So higher low, higher low, higher low, or more so just a low. Um, found some rejection uh, off 16.95 in the form of support. Uh, coming back up to this you know resisting trend line so we are definitely we know our bias is long right we know our bias is bullish on this so you know we drew this trade path you know being the you know, highest probability trade and this is playing out pretty nicely we're pretty close to uh breaking right now so i want to see a little bit of a surge outside of this trend line pull back find a you know get a confirmed higher low off this 1720 handle and then get some bullish confirmations and bullish setups uh, that would give us you know reason enough to enter on and then we're targeting 1800 still. We're talking about this handle for a while. We're going to hit it. It's just a matter of when. You know, but it's looking pretty good so far. Again, we just want to see this break, pullback, higher low confirmation, bullish setups, boom, we're in, targeting 1800. All right. So this is looking good so far. And again, guys, all these analyses get, you know, as the trades develop, as, you know, we see updates, we're going to post them in our Discord for you guys to review. All right. So that's what I prepared for you guys. A quick recap, we did DXY, AU, AJ, EU, EJ, and gold. Look, it's actually taking off right now. We got, what is it, EU and EJ are kind of taking off. Let's go to the one hour, take a look. Yep, it's a good bullish movement, still holding this area. Uh, about 20 more minutes to go, so we'll see how this plays out. Angelo, back to you. Right, I'm going to answer some questions here, actually. Hold on. What do you – we got everybody in the chat now. We got a good amount of people. What do you guys want to see in the live session? Do you want us to continue to go over trades the way that we're doing? Do you want us to do more top-down analysis? You know, get us, get us with some feedback right now um, for everyone that's in the chat. You know, what do you guys want to see? I'm about to get into all the major pairs. I know a lot of people want to see UCAD right now and you. But do you want to continue to just see us do these chart, like basic forecasting ideas? And I know sometimes I'll give out potential trades live. I mean, what what do you guys want to see? Just get us with some feedback real quick. And then I got to get through this because we only have 20 minutes left in the session. And I got to cover a lot. Top down analysis. All right, cool. Full indices, yeah, we could potentially talk about indices. The top down tells me. All right, cool. Yeah, so continue to just post um, your idea. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen of you know what do you guys want to see? These these live sessions are for you guys. They're they're not for us. I mean, you know, we do come on and get prepared for the day, but we want to make sure um, that you guys are benefiting from this. You know, if you guys are finding it hard to follow and everything like that, you know, we can definitely take it back a little bit. So give us some feedback in the chat. Um, it's about 8.38, so I'm gonna get started in like one minute here. 
And then, yeah, I got to hop off in like 20 minutes. So that's perfect. All right, cool, cool. So, so, so in the seas, watch this for the week. Forecast ideas. Yeah, I mean, the idea on Sunday is to forecast. And then realistically, the idea is today is to go over our watch list. So these are all, these are our watch lists that we're going over. Um, yeah, no, I'm going to get into lower time frames on pairs that I'm looking for entries on and stuff like that for sure. All right, cool. So we're going to start. I know a lot of people wanted UCAD. You know, we're going to start with UCAD. I posted this little bars pattern yesterday. Um, we're going to start all the way up, you know, weekly time frame. UCAD, we've been talking about this for a minute. You know, the potential of this falling off and pulling back. Weekly time frame is overall bullish in the sense that made a new high. We found a lot of resistance in the supply zone right here. Ultimately, I'm trying to get back to retest this monthly level support. Um, so I am looking for sales realistically until that area is met. So on this daily time frame, I've been forming some lower highs, lower high, lower high, lower high, and then these lows right here. So this is just a descending triangle right there, um, which is you know one of the easier patterns to spot <clears throat> that we look for. And we just recently got a break below there. Um, and then we have this little doji candle or like spinning top that took place um, yesterday. So that's showing me signs of reversal, signs of the market slowing up. Down to the four hour time frame, I'm looking for something um, very similar to this. Yeah, I'm looking for something very similar to this. I'm looking for this pattern, this pullback through the moving averages, retest. I got my fib on, you know, retest this zone, resistance 618 up here. Um, you know, look for some some sort of um, setup in this area. Or if we can continue to consolidate, form some sort of rectangle, then I will try to take advantage of this um, as we head lower. So I am looking for UCAD to head lower, but I do think there's potential for this to pop up slightly, maybe not even this much um, before heading lower. So UCAD, definitely looking to sell. For my watch list, everybody, I categorize it with red being higher time frame. So whatever is in red means that I'm sitting on the four hour of the daily. Um, obviously in sitting on these time frames, that means today, you know, there might not be a move potentially. Like I'm I'm gonna probably wait until um, you know another four hours, another eight hours. Maybe I'll check this again in the afternoon and then tonight we're over in New Jersey. So it's about you know 8 40 a.m. over here. So yeah, I'm gonna be waiting on UCAD. I'm gonna Keep that as red. Let's go over um, to Yousef. This is going to be a potential trade right now. So on the daily time frame, let's bump all the way up. What's the gray candle? Um, the, oh, the gray candle. So the gray candles are just a little tool that I use. Um, it's just to forecast an idea. So it's called the bars pattern. Boom, right here. So you can, I was looking at this as like a potential you know, future idea for UCAT, for UCAT. So I just came in here, you can just grab these candles and then you bring them over to, you know, where price is right now. And it just simulates, you know, the potential trades. So you guys have been seeing me use that a lot. Um, I've been getting some, you know, good trade ideas just for, just using them to forecast the ideas, you know, just, I had put this earlier in the week, you know, we're looking for it to consolidate, pop up. Um, so again, that's UCAT, put that there, because you already did that. Let's start on Yousef. So Yousef is looking pretty crazy right now. Um, we're getting a lot of dojis, a lot of indecision, moving averages crossed. Again, we're up on the weekly time frame. You know, obviously a lot going on. But let's just focus on the candlesticks. So let's focus on the candlesticks right now. Um, overall, we are in a downtrend. You know, on the weekly time frame. If you want to just you know, bring a little trend line on, you know, obviously this market has been trending downward, forming lower lows, lower high, lower low, lower high. Um, so let's get a little bit into the strategy. You know, what are we looking for, you know, as we kind of try to take trades on this daily time frame, always looking for structure, you know, from the high to the low, looking to see which of these FIB levels are getting retested. And I also have my supply zone on here. So I'm using FIBs, supply and demand, supply zone, and then I'm also using this 200 day moving average. Um, I got my two main key levels on here. 
So those are really the only levels that I place. And then I'm just going to start to use random lines, use some random lines and everything. So on this daily time frame, my overall FIB, obviously we are in a downtrend, but we're getting consolidation all within this fit, all within these FIB levels. Um, we are still bearish in the sense that these lower highs are being formed right now. Hold on one second. These lower highs are being formed right now. Um, so we have one, two, three, you know, lower highs consecutive right now. So I need to go down to a lower time frame. I need to see things a little bit more clearly as I get down to the four hour time frame right now, break of support was here. I'm just trying to look for structure. I'm just trying to look for structure um, on this four hour time frame. And I could even just zoom in really in this area and I see using the moving averages. I use the moving averages um, pretty much, you know, very important part of my strategy. So I have break of support here. Boom, get this low, retest of this lower high, break of support here, lower low, lower high. Um, then we made a little bit of a higher low here, you know what I'm saying? Um, so price is definitely retesting or testing us right now. And we need to respect this lower high now. This is our, this is our most significant zone right here, most significant level. Um, I'm actually down on the lower time frames now, looking for potential entries and everything. We had this pullback, a lot of rejection. You know, I took an early entry on this, but I didn't put anything in the signals because it wasn't um, as high probability as I would like it to be. Now on the 30 minute, um, realistically now, if we get something similar to realistically like this, just the, just the cross the moving averages like this, pull through, um, pull through. So if we get some sort of variation very similar to this, then you know, we could see the potential for another entry. So I'm waiting on Yousef right now, waiting to see if we get an entry at the moment. Um, so I'm, right now I'm in this trade, so it's blue. Um, when I'm in trades, I'll keep them blue. When I'm looking at lower time frames, I'll keep them orange. Um, so look out for you guys in the signals for this one. You know, I'm gonna pump this out as soon as it gets confirmed. Obviously we can see right now it's pumping a little bit, you know, bearish. So. We'll see how this ends. We'll see how this ends in about 13 minutes or so. Give me one second. So yeah, like you said, we're just a couple confirmations away on this one. You know, it's looking like a double top. There's good exhaustion here. Um, but again, you're just waiting for these micro support levels. It's looking good right now. If it kind of closes where it is, there definitely could be a potential entry here. Yeah, no entry yet, but I'm waiting, like Nick said, a lot of confirmation right now. So if this closes, I'm going to wait for the following candle. Um, even though right now you are pressured to enter, you know, I don't care. It could be something like this, pulls through, pulls back, and then the, then it actually crosses. I want to see that cross. That cross for me confirms that the trend and the momentum is changing so that's Yousef let's bump over to GU right now um, let's go back on GU this is getting this is getting interesting because these pairs are showing us um, these pairs are showing us things that can be confusing they, they can confuse you and we do not want to be tricked right now by these pairs you know keep in mind Yousef we're trying to go short on you know, UCAD, we're trying to go go short on in time. Um, we're trying to, I do think that it will consolidate a little bit before shorting, you know, again. But GU, you know, let's see where we're at on GU. GU, same thing, you know, starting the weekly time frame, do our top-down analysis. We got our key levels in here. We are within these two levels. We are within these two levels. Most recently, we retested this one. I could see us coming down to retest this one again. We haven't done that yet. Um, that is where we're going to find, I believe, enough volatility, enough liquidity or buyers to send us back up into this level. You know, so that's where I'm looking for price to get to before changing my ideas or anything. Um, so on this daily time frame, we are, you know, we got our fibs on here. So we got high to low, retested the 618 area with this double top. 
Um, then these moving averages crossed, which this all this tells me right now is on this daily time frame. We had come up. This was a nice healthy retracement. Pulled back through the moving averages. This told me that this was our structure level, main structure. Pulled back again, retested, pulled back. So on the daily, until this breaks, we are still bearish. It, this could come all the way up, just like this. This could come all the way up to that level, and I would still be looking for sales. Once it got to that level, I'd be looking for sales. Right now, you know, the daily is forming um, some sort of, you know, transition right now. But we are still at, this is a nice daily resistance level right here. Boom. Daily resistance right there. I'm going to actually take these levels off, that level off, um, just to clear up the chart a little bit. Always trying to keep the chart as clean as possible, guys, you know, not to be confused. So right now we are retesting this blue zone. This is support, you know, indecision around this level, indecision right there, you know, a little bit of uh, support there. So this is definitely like a key daily zone, keeping in mind that we're trying to get short on this. We're trying to get short on this in the most responsible way possible, the most high probability. Um, so it, with that in mind, you know, I'll go from the daily to the one hour. And the one hour is, is bullish. The one hour made this high, healthy pullback here, you know, spiked up. Now we just found support again. So the one hour is bullish. Now, this is actually good. This is good for us that this is happening right now. Um, basically, as these candles close, the moving averages cross. I'm just thinking through like a potential idea for that short that I have in mind. Um, if we were to come down after this closes and now break this level, this is a level of structure that's now forming on the one hour. If we were to break this level, I would short right away. I would short right away a nice little breakout entry right here. Um, so we're getting a potential, you know, potential idea in there. That's all I was waiting for on the one hour for some structure to form. I wasn't shorting up here just based on this, um, based on this little transition, you know, all the way down the 30 minute. There was nothing for me that was, um, that was ready yet. There was nothing for me that was ready yet. Yesterday on the live session, we could have, we had a potential order right here that did go into considerable profit. Um, but the volatility was like stupid high right here. As this broke, the volatility of that wick for me was just dumb high. I knew this range, how significant it was, this area. So I just held off. You know, I wasn't trying to be too aggressive in that area. Now we're getting, you know, I'm sitting on the one hour. I'm sitting on the one hour right here. I really need this one hour to break because my daily, I'm basing this on the daily. And I like to go from my daily to my one hour to look at structure you know, at the, at the minimum. So waiting on GU right now, you know, if this does continue to head higher, you know, on this four hour time frame, if we start to break, you know, this level, this red zone right here, then I will, uh, personally, I will look for longs until we get up into this higher area, until we get up until I talked about this daily resistance level. So Right now on GU, I'm just waiting, you know, on the one hour time frame, see if we can get that that little transition. I'll pull this, like I was talking about, back to orange on GU. Um, so let's go over to NU. Boom, let's go up to the daily time frame. So all these pairs are are trying to trick us out right now. They're trying to take us for a little run. We got the weekly time frame. You know, let's just focus on the weekly. Weekly overall is bearish, you know, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Now we're trying to form that next lower high. We're trying to form the next lower high. We're trying to catch this position. You know, we're trying to catch ourselves um, in this in this next fall off right here. So on this daily time frame, we are getting really bullish. We are getting really bullish, you know, very similar to this, um, this daily transition to get bullish right here, very similar to this, this daily transition to get bullish, that is exactly what we're doing now. That's exactly what we're doing right now. We just transitioned on the daily to get very bullish. Um, and with that in mind, you know, let's let's look at, this was like my last level of defense on the four hour, like, okay, potential shorts here back into this red zone. We're obviously finding a lot of support in this area. Um, now what I'm gonna look for, let's just go up to the daily. You know, obviously I have this daily, this huge supply zone marked up here on the daily time frame. 
I am looking for this to come back into the supply zone, back into this monthly resistance level before inevitably falling off. We got the 200 day, everything like that. So very simple structure right now is on this four hour time frame. Um, you know, if we brought out a little fib, boom, high to low up here. So this thing hasn't even pulled back, you know, large enough for us to even like use our fib at the moment. So I'm going to keep this off. Um, so realistically, what I'm thinking about with this, you know, at the moment, we're obviously finding, um, you know, some support right now. In order to long, I would need to break above this level. Boom. Boom. Break above here on the 30 minute. Pull back. Establish that next higher low then we can go along on this, continue this lower time frame trend. Um, so that's just a little idea that I have on NU with in mind that we're looking to get long on this pair. So that's a little idea that I have with NU. And then last but not least, let's take a look at UJ. UJ, I just put this idea on yesterday. I'm personally not trading UJ um, these days. Um, I'm just not I'm not seeing what I want to see yet on UJ. I'm still doing some testing on this. But on the weekly time frame, we could start off, obviously, very bearish. Again, lows, lower high, retest this low. Now we're pulling back off this support level. Let's get down to the daily. Um, the daily time frame is bearish, guys. The daily time frame is bearish. Made this low, lower high, made this lower high here. Um, need to find that next lower high. That's what we're climbing to right now. We are climbing ideally into this level, this level of resistance. Uh, we're not gonna do crude oil um, in this session. We'll think about getting it down. We like to just review pairs that we personally trade because we feel like it makes the most sense to do that. Um, so on this daily time frame, I'm trying to get into this zone. This zone's got 200 day resistance, You know, a lot of confirmation, 618 everything like that, um, I, as we can see on this one hour, the one hour is very bullish. The one hour, we try to take a little position, premature in this area, was not ready. Um, so all I'm looking for on the swings in the one hour is these moving averages, high, higher low right here, higher low retested, another higher low established, made a new high, moving average cross, higher low, moving average cross, retest this higher low. You know, we're failing to make new highs, but again, we are just consolidating between these ranges. Um, you know, this potentially could be a rectangle pattern forming, you know, could potentially be getting ready to shoot higher on UJ until we get into this level. I'm looking to get into this zone. I'm looking to get into this zone. So at the moment, you know, considering my short ideas, um, if I wanted to, if I needed to short or if I, if I was getting ready to short, I would need a break because I'm sticking to the one hour. A break of this. We've talked about this every live session. I need this level to break, um, you know, on UJ. So those are all the pairs. Again, USEF, you know, potential entry. But like I said, you know, we're waiting. Look how it's rejecting now because we waited for the, you know, closure of this candle. So we gotta, we gotta see. This thing's gotta cross. This thing's gotta come through and cross. GU. Um, you know, we're waiting to see this thing break below retest on GU. And you wait and see a break above retest. So, you know, going along the theme of GU potentially could surge higher right now, could not be ready um, to go. So USD, you know, back to DXY, USD is looking, you know, fairly weak. USD is looking fairly weak. This thing could continue to just drop off, you know, right now, slowing up, but at the same time, looks like could continue to tumble a little bit more, which would yep. um, definitely continue to support, you know, our ideas. Um, so this is the live training session. We got to cut it a little bit short because I got to hop off um, on this session. I'm going to take all of your guys' suggestions into consideration. I'm going to copy all of them right now. Um, for you guys, normally we do a giveaway today. We are not doing a giveaway. Um, we're going to do a giveaway in the chat tomorrow. Um, we're going to do a nice giveaway. We're going to we're going to think about you know different things that we can do for the giveaway tomorrow i want to make it a good one for you guys um so it's going to be it's going to be special so you guys should definitely look out for that um i just want to announce we're doing 
little sale right now. Next week we're doing an, a live online course. Normally it's two G's, it's four ninety nine. This includes membership. So membership's normally four ninety nine. So you're gonna get we're doing a four day online course. Me and Nick are gonna work with you one on one. Um, because people at the end of the day um need that live support. We need to work with you and and if you've learned something before and you're coming to us, we really got to let you know that the best thing that you can do is you got to forget what you've known. You know, obviously your experience is valuable, but if you're trying to learn our strategy, you know, you got to kind of put the blinders on and um, just get, you know, acclimated with how we're trying to teach you the rules so that you can actually become, you know, more consistent and more profitable. So thanks everybody. This is recorded. That's all I have. Um, so I'm signing off. And uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, yeah, enjoy the rest of the week. Happy trading. Fun. We'll see you guys at the Sunday Market Blitz. That's the next live trading session. Yeah, next live trading session, Sunday Market Blitz. See you guys there. Peace.